Crochet techniques. The front loop single crochet. Left handed. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your crochet skills right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five crochet tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A crochet hook and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com. In the color, Oxford Gray. The front loop single crochet is a variation of the traditional single crochet stitch. Now, it creates these ridges along the edge of your fabric if you do it uh, over and over again in subsequent rows. But sometimes you'll just see it used for effect in a different pattern. And it will be listed as front loop single crochet or SC. Uh, you're usually not going to see it like FLSC, although you may find that abbreviation in some patterns. So to do the front loop single crochet we're going to take our hook and for step one we will insert it into the front loop of this top sort of arrow of the chain, the top of the stitch below. Okay, So you're going to come in the front part of this and go through the middle like so. Okay. For step two, we're going to yarn over and draw the loop through. And step three, we'll yarn over and draw through the two loops on our crochet hook. So let's do that again real quick once more. Again, we're going to come through the front loop of the stitch. We're going underneath and through the middle. Then we'll yarn over and draw through and yarn over and draw through too. And that's how you make the front loop single crochet stitch. Hey. I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I wanna thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on.